Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, episode 53. 53. 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 53 because math. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, thank you once again for welcoming us into your home. Um, it's been a pretty nice week, post StitchCon week. Yep. Uh, we uh, have some stuff to show. We have some stuff to report on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're back to our usually scheduled program. Yes, ma'am. And so a lot of these... Um, uh, things that we're going to tell you about are going to be more or less the familiar routine that we usually do. Correct. We want to thank, sincerely, as we have to keep doing, we have to keep doing this, <laughs> we have the best commenters on Floss Tube. Yep. And especially... Bar none. Bar none. Uh, especially after our Floss Tube video... Um, where we uh, talked about StitchCon. Mm -hmm. Of course, we heard from people who we can now put faces with, which yes. was just so, so awesome. Winning. Winning, winning all around. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of the other people who uh, hopefully lived uh, through StitchCon vicariously through um, some of the um, on-site um, mm -hmm. streams that we did. Um, apologies to the, to the person who... Doesn't remember to hold her phone horizontally. Oh. Um, so, sorry if that made you a little dizzy, but Whatever. sometimes you're just in the moment and you right. just forget to... You don't forget that it's going to be on a YouTube video? So. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we've talked to you about StitchCon on Thursday, and now mm -hmm. we're going to catch you up on what we've been doing since, since Thursday. Yes. But before that... We have some... Loose... Oh, and then stuff that's left over from... Right, yeah. from Thursday's video. So, um, there's some loose ends uh, and some other Stitch con stuff that we'll get out of the way now um, in the introduction before we talk about our week. Right. So, um, first and foremost, there is going to be a uh, spirit wear sale for those of you that attended that maybe didn't uh, have time to order, forgot to order, right. saw the stuff in person and was like, now I want to get more stuff. I want to buy more stuff. After seeing Angie's sweatshirt, I was like, now I need a sweatshirt. Um, so there is a third StitchCon Spirit Wear shop, um, and it is open to, from today, uh, July 1st through July 9th. So I did post in the StitchCon Facebook group uh, to let everyone aware of that. Um, I will post the link to the Facebook group after we are done with this video. They were doing site maintenance until this afternoon, so... Um, yeah, so jump on there. By the that, time you see this, it'll be open. Correct. Yeah. And so um, you can follow the link in the Facebook group, or if you're not on the Facebook group, go to the stitchcon, stitch-con.com website and click on 2018 details. Scroll to the bottom, and there's a button. And you click that, and you buy the, all the things. The biggest difference is, is that this go-around, the items that you purchase will be shipped to your home. Oh, yeah. As opposed to keepsakes, like they were before. Right. So, shipping will obviously be additional charges, but um, that way, I mean, if it came to keepsakes, we'd charge you shipping to ship it to you anyway. So, so there you uh, go. So, there's It's going to be the same. It's good quality stuff. Um, it is. Not only um, the, the sweats uh, with the cool... Um, ties I, mm -hmm. I love the styling of um a angie myers's um uh sweat uh hoodie is what i'm trying to say um also uh friday um kim truck had her um tote bag mm -hmm. her with the it was black with the white logo mm -hmm. uh, it's real it's real nice quality stuff so yeah yeah so check that out Yes, um, and in addition to that, I will be making some website updates. So obviously the details for 2019 have been revealed. Not every last detail, but a good portion of the details. Right. So I'll be updating the 2019 details uh, tab, um, and I will basically be... Uh, 
closing down or decompressing um, the 2018 details page. Um, I will keep the 2018 floss tubers link up so you can go click on the, their channels and see if they did a wrap up video. Um, and I'll keep that there and then I will also make a 2019 floss tubers page when the event gets closer. Sure. I will also be adding a gallery page. so. Um, to combine all the pictures um, and stuff from the event, so you can go check those out and look at those pictures closer. So when you add the gallery page mm -hmm. to the Facebook group for 2018, no, the gallery page is going on the website. Okay, good, good to clarify yes. that. Okay. Stitch-con.com link right. below. So right. I need to keep keeping a list of all the things I need to link. Right. Um, and so yeah, so I will be doing that. The waitlist page stays the same; it still works the same as it always has before. Um, as you know, we are technically full for 2019, um, and so yeah. But keep putting your name on the waitlist because you never know what can happen. Believe me, um, we had a lot of last-minute cancellations, so continue to put your name on the waitlist. Um, also, um, um, how the invoice process is going to work for 2019. So, uh, I will be start sending, I will, me and Barbara and I will be starting to send out invoices for 2019 registration fee, uh, which is $150, starting on August 1st. If you came this year, you probably will not get your invoice on the 1st of August because we're already assuming that you're going to be there. So, we want to get those 150 people first on the wait list off of the wait list and send their invoices out um, because maybe some people's plans have changed. So anyway, so do not freak out if you do not get your invoice on August 1st, if you came this year especially. So in that first week of August, between the 1st and the 7th, that's when me and Barbara are gonna be focusing on sending out invoices. So um, it shouldn't be too hard, but um, so that's the goal and we wanna make sure that nobody is missed and it's done it fairly and all of the things. So um, that's how that process is going to work. So there's that. Um, other than that, I think think uh oh yeah this is funny so um pam and i decided that was it tuesday night that we went yes i think it was tuesday where did we go the, t <laughs> <laughs> the tuesday night before stitch con um so i worked all day at i the still don't know where she's going with this yes you do okay so um you will eventually you'll catch on eventually pam it's be fine just follow come along <laughs> so um so Tuesday, before StitchCon, I obviously worked at the shop and did a bunch of StitchCon stuff with Barbara and Lynn. And then Pam and I decided that we were going to treat ourselves and go get our nails done. Oh! Remember that, Pam? You were there Seems with me. Seems like eons ago. Eons. So, um, Pam just got a really pretty color. Show your nails, Pam. Those are my nails. Yep. They were already too grown up for my liking, but anyway. But I decided that I would be fancy. So, red is obviously the color of for StitchCon. Right? Yep. And then I had her do X's. Look at the little X's. They're not, it's not what I had envisioned, but it works. So I got my accent nails to have little X's. Yeah, the nail techs were so somewhat, confused. Somewhat mystified. They thought X's went with O's, like hugs and kisses. And they weren't like, getting it at no, all. No, just R L X. So anyway. So yeah, so that was fun. So that we did that. And um, a lot of people noticed that in the video too. So that's cool. Right. So, um, and also, so when we went to um, put our video together on Thursday, uh, I realized that in my stupidity, I had forgotten to add a Oops, chunk stupid. of, thank you, Pam. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, forgot to add a chunk of pictures. Um, a trunk of pictures? A chunk. Oh, chunk. Chunk. Not a trunk, a chunk. Okay. Of pictures, not videos, okay. but pictures. Okay. So there are pictures from the Smalls Exchange and other things. And so I will insert the rest of the remaining pictures from StitchCon that I had on my phone.
So um, we will try our best. I know that everyone that watches our channel doesn't isn't interested in TitchCon, isn't coming to TitchCon, um, and people are probably overhearing about it all the time. Yeah. Um, so from here on out, we will um, let you know if there's any like super important details, um, but that's the end of all the TitchCon um, reminiscing. Um, except and, for these two items. Except for those other two items. Yes. Are we going to do that now? Yes, you are, Pam. Oh, okay. So um, I misattributed a gift in... The StitchCon video. And uh, it's explainable. Um, it's defensible by the mere fact that um, the fabric that this lovely sized project bag uh, was made with a fabric that comes from the same line as the lobster fabric that Diana, it is Kismet, um, made a project bag for and um, Diana graciously left a comment on Thursday's video and said um, I have to say it wasn't me and um, our good friend Jill you may know her as Swanky Sim on Instagram or Sim Swank on Mania she's local to us and she made this and I love it so thanks, Jill, and um, this is going to come in real handy. So I mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that I showed you um, that again and told you that it did come from Jill. Yes. Jill was one of our last-minute additions. Uh -huh. We were able to plug her into one of our slots because she was local. Right. And she didn't have to arrange for a flight or any of that right. long-term stuff. Mm -hmm. So... Um, She's not uh, one who is prone to go to retreats, and she had a really, really good time. So we're glad that she was there. And she is super active on social media. Yes, she is. So and she watches a bunch of FosTube, and she and you all she, know her. Right. You know, you know mm -hmm. the name. So she's a beautiful stitcher, and she's yeah. a great, great gal. So yeah. um, that's my bag from Jill. Yes. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention: we both forgot to show our stuff. We forgot to show our stuff. Now I mentioned my friend Cheryl. Who came from Portland, Maine, to the retreat with you her husband Dick? The beachy, mood. and I did the I did the beachy mood yeah. with Cheryl as a sal between her and I. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so her friend, who's hoping to come to StitchCon with Cheryl and another gal next year, yeah, yeah um, main sent, table, yeah, um, she sent along with Cheryl a um, bag of stitchy goodies for both for of us, both of us mm -hmm. and. Um, we wanted to make sure that we talked about that right here. Yes. Um, so, uh, nice card. Mm -hmm. Her name is uh, Jan. Mm -hmm. And she put in quotes, Cheryl's friend, which, right. is, which is so <laughs> cute. Um, she's going to Needlework Galleria. Yeah. And uh, so are we. So right. we'll see Jan out there. That's the next stitchy thing on our calendar. Right. And she sent this cute little... Um, Main chart, which I just love. I like it too. Yep. Uh, sometimes I find that charts yep. like this, the states don't look right. Oops. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like it's like a blob as opposed to yeah. actual, and that looks good. Yeah. Uh, her card. Sorry for the tissue paper attached. But still. I didn't want to rip But the this card. is um, this is a postcard of Goat Island Light, and she sent me the. Uh, Seguin Designs, and these these are all, if you look way up to the top, is a Seguin Designs. Um, and this one is a chart of Goat Island Light. So I get to stitch that. Yay, you can put them together. So that's there. wonderful. You can put them next to each other. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, and Penny McCabe, who also came to StitchCon from Maine. Yep. Um, she has also, I've shown those before in previous videos, some of, some of, the, of those Seguin Designs. Um, she also sent this Pine Tree State Sampler, and I love it. I love it so much. I've already stitched it. I've already had it framed, and it hangs in the solarium. So um, we will find um, a we will find it. an occasion uh, mm -hmm. and or a person to uh, pass the stash on this. Yes. And um, more Perfect. about that later. Perfect. Um, cool. These two were also from her too. Um, mm -hmm. From Jan, mm -hmm. um, 
another lovely lighthouse chart mm -hmm. of Owl's Head Light. Yep. Lovely, lovely. And um, an Alma Lynn patriotic motifs chart. Um, Sorry about the glare. And we, the yeah, cute. we're getting the light. Um, it is 90 blankety blank, three degrees blankety blank blank here. It's so gross. And it's very gross. We, uh, we have not stepped outside. Um, oh. Oh. And um, so gross. we're probably going to get some storms coming yeah. through. Gosh, everybody loves America. That's yeah. cute. And I love, I love these too. They're Look dope. Yeah. They're yeah. Cute. So um, anyway, thanks, Jan. And we'll see you in September out in St. Charles. Yes, we That'll will. That'll be fabulous. All right, you want to see what Jan got for me? Yeah. Okay, I've kept it all in this plastic bag so I wouldn't lose it. So, this is the card she gave me. Cuz Cats. <laughs> um, and then she did sign it, Jan, Cheryl's friend. And then she wrote, Cuz Cross Stitch. With Isn't a cat. Cute? So cute. So cute. Yep, love it. Um, and then she gave me this pattern, which is uh moosey and with all the buttons and it's um by twisted threads and it's an emerson and he's a local like cincinnati artist yeah, right from when um ruthie used to be in cincinnati ruth sparrow yep how cute is that it's adorable love that um and then she gave me okay so these cats they go with these cats. A pot holder. A pot holder. A pot holder for Stephanie's kitchen. Isn't that so When cute? Stephanie has a kitchen. Yeah. Of her own. Right. Prayers, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pam loves it. Okay. And then um, from, okay, that's a tea towel. Okay. I wanted to like show it in its order. So then this is really cute Debbie Mom backing fabric. Look at those cats. That's really cute. I love that, and I don't That's know. That's gonna come in handy. How much it is? I mean, it's a good size piece. Might be a half yard. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Cool. I'll find uh, a use for that. I can probably make some sort of project bag out of that. Mm -hmm. Send it to Linda Joe and have Linda Joe make me a project bag. Is what I meant to say. Um, okay. <laughs> and she sent this cute little tea towel. Peace, love, and cats. Cute. It's all from the same line, which is for a well-dressed kitchen. Mm. Cute. Mm -hmm. Cute. See? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. You could probably stitch on that if you really wanted to. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it as is. Mm -hmm. And then this is super cool. Okay, so this is a poster-style tea towel made by Adventure Destinations. Yeah. Check this out. Wait this is very cool. for this. This is amazing. Look at that thing. Isn't that adorable? I want to just like hang it on my wall. You know, you could border it with some fabric and put some batting in it and make it a wall hanging. You Hell really yeah. could. That's what I'm going to do. That's what you should do with but that. But it's so freaking Because that, you don't want to use cute. that as a towel. Heck no. And so this is what... And, and Oh my God. So... It's adorable. I love obviously maps of Ohio. I love maps of Maine. Maps in general. But I really like it when towns that I know and love are on the map, like small towns. See this right here? That is Orono. And that's where the University of Maine is. And that's where I lived for four years. And then I moved to Bangor, which is right south of there. And I lived there for two years. That's what you should do. You should make okay. a wall hanging out of that. That's cool. Because I don't want to dirty this with grease and stuff. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. It's, well, it's an ornamental towel. I mean, well, it's a... Well, I get that. An ornamental know. towel. So That is nice. so cool. Thank Jan, you, Jan. that was very thoughtful. You are a dear sweetheart. Loved it. Love it, love it, love it. If we don't look you up, I mean, we will look you up, but I mean, really try hard to find us when we get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's There's going to be four of us. It's just not are we friends on Facebook? If not, let's see friends on Facebook. Yeah, send us, a, send us some... So, you know. We'll get it figured out. Do that. All right, and then the rest of our stitchy week, uh, Friday was a uh, pseudo back to normal. Uh, I worked at the shop, um, and it was kind of like everyone that came in was just like, stitch gone. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? And it was like, what were we doing? Like, Nicole sent us both What text did we do in our previous life? Right, and Nicole sent us both text messages on Thursday, and was right. like, what were you doing this time last week? And we were like, 
Oh my god, it's already been a week. Hard so to believe. yeah, so um, we went over to the shop and um, Friday's a funny day because Barbara has told me and Lynn like, I want you guys to stitch on Friday with the girls, and like Barbara's like, I'll run the shop. I didn't stitch one stitch on Friday because we were so busy, which was amazing. Right. And there were four girls, uh, well, two two moms and two daughters right. uh, who drove down from Wisconsin. So if you follow Keepsakes on Instagram, then you know the story, but there's a really, really good picture that I took of Barbara and the four of them. Um, and they were so nice. They were, I think like all the nice people live in Wisconsin. I don't know. And so, not that there's not, not nice people other, where, other places, but anywhere, other anywhere, other wares. Uh, Wow. So, um, all the, the people that I've met from Wisconsin are all been really, really nice. And so anyway, so they were super fun to talk to. They had lots of questions and they were like, this shop is amazing. You guys are so knowledgeable and blah, 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 blah things. And they were so, so nice. And, um, the moms have been friends since they were brownies. Brownies. And I was remember like, brownies. I remember brownies and I'm old. So I think that's cool. And then their daughters, yeah. uh, cross stitch shoes, so all four of them stitch. Um, and I can proudly say that I taught someone how to stitch on even weave. Yep. I taught them how to railroad because when I was teaching them, I was railroading cause I just do it naturally now. And they were like, why do you put your needle between your threads? And I was like, Oh, that's railroading. They bought their first, they got their first needle minders. It was like so great. So, um, a big, we, we put on that they'd never heard of Flossy before. So, on a post it note, I put our channel name and I said, Watch it, you'll love it. As if that doesn't sound conceited enough. I'm like, If you love me in person, you'll love me on camera. So, and you'll check out my mom. So, it's really, really cool. So, um, nice face. I saw that. <laughs> so uh yeah so mind my own business so if you ladies are watching hello yeah and it was so nice to meet you and hopefully uh you're having fun stitching you're good so and then saturday uh we went to sushi with our friend katie and right. um she's a stitchy friend so that counts so right yep so that was our week pretty much here yeah. we are it's sunday yep so let's talk about stitching Let's talk about whips. You want to yes. go first? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm first on the notes. Okay. Because I made the notes. Okay. So, um, I well, promised, I think, to, some, to somebody <laughs> that I was going to do a stitch con start. So, everyone's like, oh, you never get any stitching done at retreats. Yeah, I like literally didn't stitch hardly at all. Uh, I mean, it didn't help that I was like running it too, but. Uh, Pam got a ton done, so whatever. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. She I really did. did. She did. Um, and so, you'll see. She did. So, um, I did start my Stitch Con start, which was December by Cricut Collection. Um, the letters were done in, or charted in silks. I bought the called for silk. I don't love the called for silk. So, I bought a few more colors of, from Dinky Dyes at the Trunk Shows of StitchCon, and I just haven't gotten around to trying them out. So, I would show you that, but I don't like it, so I'm not going to show it to you. So, what I did work on, though, was um, I worked on this a little bit at StitchCon, one of my Mania starts, which is Boo Tree by The Primitive Hair. Love that. And I'm stitching this on 28 count Queen Anne's Lace Jobelin. And... Okay. So, sorry about my threads, but... I did the R and went over and started the E. <coughs> and then I started him. See these little green eyeballs? So, I worked on that just a little bit. I got a letter done and part of a skull. Like, really? So, um, I worked on that on the latter part of the weekend. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I also put a few stitches in, uh, to my Be Inspired piece. Remember that? I started that, like, last year number 12. Um, and I hated the fabric. I changed the fabric three times. I finally found a fabric, which is 32 count Stonehenge from, uh... Color and cotton. Thank you. Color and cotton. I uh, got that at StitchCon, and I uh, put the first few stitches into it. I realized what was my barrier. My barrier with that pattern, if you've seen it, which you have if you watch Floss Tube, you've seen a bunch of people stitch it. Um, or on Instagram. 
is that it's like not a lot of like super dense stitching, but starting in the middle, which is where I technically typically start, um, was like really overwhelming for me to start in the middle because I also like to sti stitch from the top down. So it was like, I didn't like starting in the middle of a motif or whatever. So I decided to, because I had a piece of fabric that was big enough, I decided to start in the top middle. So I folded my piece of fabric in half, used my corner gauge, went three inches down, and started in the middle, and I love it. So I just did a few stitches just to like see if that was what my problem was. It was my problem. I'll show it to you next week. Okay. And then my focus piece, which I am just like friggin' so in love with, is another one of my mania starts, which is the Frosted Pumpkin Citrus Birth National Parks Birthday Club. Um, I've shown this to you a couple times. I'm going to like show it to you that way so you can see it sitting up. Um, I've worked on this f a few times. Um, what I am doing is I'm stitching it in the order that the clues were released. So the first clue was this top, like with the birds and, the th and this, and then this part, this, this lane was made for you and me, and then this part down here. Um, and I got most of that done. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Lose it. Look at it! Ah, I love it! Look at those little birds! Look at that tent! I can't with that tent! <laughs> and those trees! And then I moved down to the CE in Centennial. So, I love this. I think it's fantastic. This is 28 count Gossamer Lugana from Picture This Plus. Obviously, not the call for. You got that at the last Christmas in July sale for PTK. I sure didn't you? did. Yep. And then you knew what you wanted to get it for. I sure did. And then I waited a friggin' year and a half to start stitching on it. That's right. But that's okay. Yeah, it is what it is. So, what are your whips, Pam? Okay. So, um, primarily, if you follow me on Instagram, PG Soap, um, I picked up one of my mania starts which was Sam's in Stripes from the Cricut Collection. It's number 158. There are two versions, uh, and they differ only in the fibers used. Basically, I'm using, it's the same design. Mm -hmm. I'm using the um, uh, tray version, this red tray version, and the DMCs that correspond with it. I'm stitching it on... Amber linen. Amber linen. Uh, 32 or 28? 32. 32. Yeah. I love this amber linen from Whittle, I think. I think so. Um, I you did the one, two, three, but. ye old coffee house back last summer mm -hmm. on it. Um, I just think it's just a nice warm brown. And and I got two Sam's done out, of, out of four. Mm -hmm. So um, awesome. Friday, this guy's a little squatty guy. Nah. Uh, the guy with the white hat, if you can see the guy with the white hat. Yeah, this guy. So I was, we oh, were laughing at the shop guy. Friday because I was saying, um, which way do I go? You know, because you can go whatever direction you want to mm -hmm. go in. And, um. Oh, she so said to go squatty. Everybody said, go to the squatty guy with the big blue flag because you're going to want to get that big blue flag. Done. Behind you. Yes. Get behind me, big blue flag. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, of course, socializing, talking, eating. That was the extent of my Friday stitching, right. people. Yep. You know. I mean, I, I finished up this guy in an evening at home, but this is what I get done at the shop. <laughs> in by comparison. Hours. You see, there's the mouth flapping over here is what's happening. Okay. That's, so, that's the issue over there. Is that the is the flap. issue. So, so I got, uh, that's one whip. I love that and um, and I picked this hmm. up. This is oh, now. What did I say? The um, okay. Um, I can tell you if you forget. <coughs> we got we've gotten a little bit behind on our monthly projects, as you can imagine. Don't be calling me. Asking but we're not apologizing. Are. We're not apologizing. Nope. But um, obviously, you know the whole ornament thing, right? The monthly ornament thing. So. Um, I don't have to worry about a Christmas ornament for this month because I found all those things in you my... You don't have to worry about Christmas ornaments a year. No, I'm pretty much done with Christmas ornaments Go for ahead. 2018. So I need to find a Halloween ornament. So, you know, you're combing through your boxes and your bins and your bags and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> boxes and bins. You know, all kinds of containers. Yeah, we know. Right, baskets. Yes. There's another beat. Oh, wow. All right. So <laughs> are you impressed? I'm very impressed, actually. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what did I say? Homespun? Nope. No. 
Hillside samplings. Hillside samplings. Not homespun. No. Hillside samplings. Right. This little guy. And um, <laughs> I had the fibers and I had the chart. So all I had to do was find a piece of fabric that would suffice. Yep. And but that's how, look how old this is. Because like on the back, you can, can you see that where it says Kodak paper? Yeah. Like that's how old this I have old thing. stash. If I you love don't it. know, I have old stash. I love it. I, love I have it. old stash. People ask me for background information on stuff I've stitched. And I'm like, listen, you got to understand. My stuff is old. Okay. I've stitched a lot of stuff a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I don't have the charts anymore. You know, just, right. you know, I appreciate your inquiries, but it's pretty much a lost cause. Right. <laughs> anyway. Sorry about your loss. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sucks to be you. But anyway. You're terrible. Don't say well, that. Well, I, you know, what can I say? Keep asking us questions. <laughs> so anyway, here's, here's, uh, here's where I am on that. Was that fabric provided or did you cut that? No, I found it in the box of scraps. Oh, cool. So it's on the gray end as opposed to this, which looks a little taupey, whatever, tan. Taupey. So I went gray. It's and, so um, cute. I can't. Um, oh yeah, I can hear thunder. We're gonna get. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some weather. Um, we're getting some weather. As a, are we not having weather right now? That's just an old expression. Okay. Just roll with it. Yep. So anyway, so it's a, this is called come in for a bite. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. So anyway, didn't it come with the silks? There's no silks or threads. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I say that? No. Oh, maybe you did. I think I did. You were talking okay. threads and chart. Yes. And uh, all I had to do was remember. Didn't you hear me say the words come out of my mouth? All I had to find was the fabric. Was the fabric. Gotcha. So those were my two whips. Super friggin' cute. Two Sams and a bat. Two Sams and a bat. There you go. Love it. All right. Cool. Where do we go next? It's bell time. It's bell time. Very, very little bell. Very, very small bell. Don't ring it yet. Oh. What do yeah, I do? Ring show it? it? Yeah, and show then it I ring it? it? Oh my God, yes. That's how we do finishes. <gasps> episode 53, people. I'm still But slack. we haven't had the bell for 53 episodes, so I'll cut you some slack. Oh, gee, thanks, Steph. No problem, anytime. All right, so you know I'm doing the flippets, the Lizzie Kate flippets. I'm doing the original set mm -hmm. from back in the day, the Dark Ages, right? right? <laughs> so <laughs> when, I, when I hashtag ages. this on Instagram, I go, flippets OG, you know? Original gangster. Orig okay, they probably don't know, but you know. Whatever. Your friends do. My friends have no clue. <laughs> so anyway, so I got July done and I just love it. Oh my God. You sit out in like two days. I want Two to evenings. Here. These are these are pretty much a two evening shop once I got it all kitted up. Like, and I've already picked up the fabric for all 12 months. So all I have to do is grab the chart, grab the fabric, and do mm -hmm. a floss toss. Right. And I'm good to go. Turn on the TV. Boom. Hey, done. So... But I just think this was so pretty on the blue. Yeah. I'm a blue freak. I love blue. A blue freak. Well, I do. Yeah, I just no, no, my I kitchen's it. blue. Everything's blue. So everything's blue. So all right. Sure so there. Blue. So now can I ring it? Yes, I can. Happy, How do you like that? Happy finishes, everyone. All right. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. All right. I didn't finish so, a damn thing. So sorry. Yeah. Lot. So we're moving on. Right. All right. So you ready? Oh my God. Mail call. call. We're back, people. We are back. Oh, my God. Okay. So, there's a lot of stuff in the mail call haul portion of the program simply because this is stuff from two weeks worth. Yeah. Because we didn't make a video the Sunday of StitchCon, right? So, we got mail from yeah. last week and this week. So, right. that's where all of this is from. So, there you go. okay. So, first we'll show what Deb sent. Okay. So, first and foremost. There you go. Okay, you're going first? Yes. Okay. So Deb sent this really cute card that says Mermaid Kisses and Starfish. Wait, okay. <laughs> and this is my favorite. Pam and Steph, thanks for all you give to Floss World. Floss World! Floss World! <laughs> you two make me laugh. Keep her pass on the contents of the envelope. All the best, Deb. Beautiful. So, um, she sent, so we like divvied up, which was which. Right. So, um, you could kind of tell. You could kind of tell. So this uh, Lizzie Kate, which I do not have. There are two out of the three Lizzie Kates that I don't have. Uh, I can drive a stick. Love that. That will stitch up so quick. Yeah, Pam. For you! <laughs> and then this, excuse me, uh, Lizzie Kate, Dear Santa, we've got cookies. This is an old one. 
Hold on, let me find the... Where is it? Uh, 2003. 15 years old! I mean, it's got the... A little bit dated look, but... And then we're well, still, just because of the frame. Those, yeah. Those frames were vintage. Super vintage. Um, and and then, it's funny, nobody likes them anymore. <laughs> nobody. And then um, this, which I have obviously stitched already, so I will be passing this on. Be Naughty, Save Santa a Trip. Yep. Super cute. That actually sits up quickly. Yep. And then this Leisure Arts Cats and Flowers. Yep. Which I have already, so I'll pass that on too. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank right. You. So, uh, Deb, I can tell what you sent me. Yep. Um, this is a grand old flag. Love this. Love, love, love it. I like it's all it's from ones. the Holiday Heirloom series. And um, hmm. uh, there's several in here that I, I just love. Um, so, there's that. A grand old flag cool. from the lovely Leisure Arts. Right. And here's another one from that same same series. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I will stitch this. I will. I just love it. You know me cool. and my veteran ancestors who... Right. who uh, Merca. Yeah, Merca. That's right. So look at these guys from all the different wars. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my heavens. Lest we forget. Absolutely. That has my name all over all it. All over it. All over it. Oh, yeah, and it says the dates, like 1776. I know. Very cool. I know. And isn't this lovely? This is... I'm sorry. Hold on. What? Is that really a picture of a man with, like, a daughter and he doesn't have an arm? Right. Because That's he terrible. lost it in the Civil War. I just read a book about that. I know, but, like, do we really have to put that on the cover of a process chart? <laughs> well, yeah. reality check, people. All right. Look at this lovely it's thing. Also... Village Skaters. See? See? Deb knows us. Deb knows us. She gets exactly us. Exactly right. Village Gators. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. I know. Um, Who's it by? Stony Creek. Stony Creek. And so, you know, backstitchy hell. But um, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll do the backstitch. I would probably be more imaginative in my fabric choice for that. Right. Maybe an ice blue. Uh, and it would just pop, wouldn't it? Or oh, my God. Different. Like there's skating in the dusk. Oh, yes. Possibilities. Okay. People. 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 Ship of Life. I love this. Are you kidding me? Nautical. All day. Uh, this mm. is from Needle Love. Remember Needle Love? Needle Love. Needle Love. Let's, let's a song? move on. Is that a song? Let's move on. Okay. Um, these cutie patooties. <laughs> what are you doing? I love it. What? You. Go. Oh. Um, Frank and Sally Skull. Look at these. Amy Brooken. Do we love Amy or what? Yes, we do. Yep. We do. Look at those. Did I say that she's going to be at Needlework Gallery? Uh, wouldn't Amy. surprise me. You going to be at Needlework Gallery? Amy. Uh, Comment me. below. Comment. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. And look at this. She oh my place. gosh. Portland Headlight. Portland Headlight. <laughs> Art benches. That's what we say. Look at that. What did you say? What? Benches? Art Benches. Oh, at, at benches. You know, at, a I, R T. I heard benches, and I was like, why are we sitting on benches? Thank you, Deb. Very thoughtful. Yeah. Obviously, you took a lot of time to select things that you knew we would like. And she also made us needle minders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not forget. So, these ones. And then look at this. This is hysterical. One plus one equals two. Is that not adorable? Yep. And there's a cat. So, very cute, Deb. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So, I got a little patriotic kite there. Just wanted to show you that. Yep. That's adorable. Sure did. Teapot and a bluebird. Yep. The bluebird of happy. The bluebird of happy. So, very nice package. Well, Sorry, we're just now getting around to acknowledging um, the very generous things that you sent us. Yes. Um, and then the last thing. Uh, okay. Well, you, there you go. Oh, okay. I go now? Yeah, because I have the rest of the other things. Oh, so we got a card. We got from, a card, handmade our... card, because some people know how to do other crafts besides cross stitch. Right, we are not those people. From our alter egos out in Utah, <laughs> our West Coast twinsies, the, the west, the west side of the country's version of us, right. and that's the adorable, the lovable, the 
extravagantly awesome. The extravagantly awesome Snug Harbor Crafts. Yes. 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 Debbie and Kef. And, um, that was the best, best way to recover on the Monday after StitchCon is watching that video. I love you. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. And look at this adorable card she made with the um, starfish and the anchors. I think Debbie may do this. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is Debbie's handiwork. Absolutely. No offense, Kef, but I think yeah. that she does the paper crafting. And um, she was thinking of us and what we were. And the return label said they're both of their last names. It was so cute. Yeah. So, uh, Deb and Kef, I love, love you to pieces. Love it. And look at these needle minders. I mean. So, look. Look at this lobster one. It looks like it's a stamp. Maybe it was a stamp. Who knows? Yeah. Baseball. Hello. Love it. We're in the Yankee series now, people. It's serious. <laughs> and cute little jack-o'-lantern. So serious. So, we love you girls. We love your whole family. I mean, yeah. let's just say. Dave, Deb, Dave, Kef, all of them. The husband, uh, Steven, Steven. Yep. all mm -hmm. of them. All of them. You're all in one big love fest. Love fest <laughs> with us. <laughs> For, with us. Okay, and moving on. Because <laughs> they're going to be like, unsubscribe. <laughs> okay. All right. So. You go. Now we talk about this? Yeah, because that was a gift too. So, the wonderful folks over... Um, in the Netherlands, the Netherlands, the twin girls, otherwise known as Twin Peak Primitives. If you are not following them on Instagram, you need to. I believe they also have, have a Nitsy shop link below. Link below. Not only have they gifted us previously, mm -hmm. they sent more. Um, let me just show you. These, you farm people are going to go ape shit over these. <laughs> I was going to say that. I'll let Stephanie do the, <laughs> do the cursing. <laughs> okay. Look at this adorable chart. Now, is that a donkey? Yes, of course okay. it's a donkey. I don't know my farm animals that well, so I'm just all making right, sure. So, they have a, na they have a title. And oh, they They're do. all on the Etsy shop, so go find them. Hold on a second. One oh, please. moment. Uh, they're all part oh. of what they're calling Santa's Trilogy, and Nerdin sent them in an email as PDFs, complimentary. Love you to death, girls. So, there's part of Santa's Trilogy. Mm -hmm. One is a donkey. Yes. One is a cow. Oh, people would be loving up the cows by this pattern, I'm just saying. I don't know why this picture is a little fancier, but whatever. But whatever. Sheep. Look at that. You need to do all four. If you like one, you're going to like the others. Wait, but if it's called Santa's Trilogy. I don't know. Then why are there four? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh, well, one, oh, one's 2A and 2B. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And llama and rooster oh on his God. back. Love it. Oh my God, these are adorable. They're so cute, and they're very reasonably priced, and it's instant download, people. Yeah, so go, just, go get them. just do it. Just go get them. Um, and how many of you are watching Little Women on PBS? We watch that this afternoon. We are going to listen to the thunder and lightning and watch Little Women. Little Women. Mm -hmm. Look at this adorable, and I would do it on the polka. On the polka. I like that. Look at the girls on Christmas morning. I love that. Is that not precious? Mm -hmm. I just love that. So, go find them. Twin Peak Primitives. You know, ironically, it was probably about a year ago, but I think Nicole, yeah, she was Buckeye like, Stitcher, was one of the first people mm -hmm. to learn about their designs. Mm -hmm. And now they are um, coming out with some really adorable designs. So, they're over in the Netherlands, and... Yep, do it. That's, that's them. Okay. Yes. Next. Next, I had seen this on uh, Etsy. Yep. Who was stitching it? Amanda. Amanda. It was on eBay. Sorry, on, I'm on old Amanda. Instagram. Not on Instagram. On eBay. <laughs> what did I say? eBay? eBay yeah. I'm losing it. I'm listening to the thunder. All right. It's not even that bad. I'm going to take it out of the plastic so you see this thing. Okay, so you know I have One Nation over across the room on right. my mantle, right. right? Yep. One of I know my that. most. Do you know that? Yeah. I know that. Well. Um, it's over there. <laughs> it's all a mantle, trust us. 
So Amanda is stitching something called Preamble Sampler she by... Fit, finished it, right? Yeah, but okay. I mean, her progress, I was like, how do I get this? How do I get this? How do I get this? And it's from Feeling Stitchy, which is not easy to find. It's not. Is this their website? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, there were, it was kind of, kind of tricky to find. What's the website? I'll look it up, see if it's a thing. B-E-S-S buyers dot com. Okay. This is from 2000, so it's 18 years old. Shepherd, Michigan. I don't know. Maybe you Michiganders will know. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, will that be an awesome companion hmm. piece? Nope. Best Best Buyers. Yeah. It's not a website. I told you. I told you. It's not easy to find. Hmm. So I will be stitching this, and someone has always already, uh, people are so intrigued. She even sent a couple of freebies, too. Uh, freebies along with it and a couple of um, anchor, anchor reds for uh, the red. In for this. the red. Uh, because if you, if you see it on Instagram, oh, so it's pretty. gorgeous. And um, I've already promised to pass it on to somebody, and maybe we can just keep it going around the country. Who knows? Yeah, right. Um, preamble sampler. So when she sent this, she also sent a couple other gifts, too. Oh, yeah. So you, they should be over there. So this is really cool. So uh, What did she send? The scissors, which are sitting back. So yeah. she sent, she actually, I, I think that she said that there are she doesn't have an L and S, but there is a scissor making factory. A scissor factory. A scissors factory. Scissors factory. And so she sent each of us, show your scissors, Pam, our own pair of embroidery scissors. Look with... at these. These are awesome. Yeah. And so with sheaths. Sheaths. And um the make and take it from StitchCon is going on the Yes. Absolutely. Because my I have like one pair of scissors that I use. I mean, we have 75 pairs of scissors, but there's one that I really love using. But I already have my Stitch Away scissor bob on that, scissor bob. And um, I was like, where am I going to put my StitchCon one? These are, these are lovely. On the scissors. These are right. obviously very good quality. Do we know the factory name? No. Okay, so if we figure out, if we find out, or, or um, if the gal who gave it to us can comment below, we'll... Mm -hmm. we'll it's somewhere in New it's York. New York? Somewhere in upstate. Not York. in Michigan. No. Okay. No. Okay. And then she also. Oh my God. Now I remember this as a kid. How many comments did we get after Thursday video? Y'all love. Necco wafers. Seriously. Now some things we bring up on our channel and we think of them as kind of not the headliner topic. Right. Okay. Like Necco wafers. Nothing against Necco. Nothing against people who gave us the Necco wafers. Right. Sure. But it's like we struck a chord with people. And everyone was like, oh, Necco Wafers this, Necco it's Wafers like we that. Hit, we hit a nerve. Right. People love the Necco. And we found out that they may be stopping manufacturing of Necco Wafers soon. <laughs> so, I mean, even, even Angie Meyer, honest to God, Angie? this was Angie. No, I thought you said Andy. No, Angie Meyer. Yeah. Bub mine. Yeah. She said they used to play. Sorry, there was a bug. Something flying in front of me. I just want <laughs> she to even said they things. used to use Necco wafers. All right. Now, when I was a kid, we used to play store. All right? Yeah. I played store when I was a kid. And she said they used to use, I'm not making fun. Don't get me wrong. I thought this was kind of clever. They used to use the Necco wafers to play church. Aww. And so the I wafers were like taking communion. That's awesome. So all kinds of childhood memories stirred up with Necco wafers. The other awesome. thing I remember as a kid eating, and yeah. I was really not a fat child, but I remember eating all, all the sugar. Eating all the sugar. Are these little molded maple sugar things. Mm -hmm. Is there a name for them? Maple sugar. <laughs> maple, maple sugar. It's not maple syrup. It's just maple sugar. So now sprigs from where? Upstate New York. Upstate New York. Maple. It sprays Maple Farms in Portville, New York. 
Seriously, they were all over New England, were they not? Oh my God, they're amazing. Open them up and show them. I will. Okay, so yes. Because some people might not have any clue what we're talking about. So. Because they're half gone. Don't judge me. Because <laughs> I was like, I've never had these before. And Pam was like, you have it? Deprived child. Terrible mother. Deprived. So this is what they look like. See, they're so, all in these little shapes. Right. And you and just they, pop them into your mouth, oh and you God. just let them melt in your mouth. They're pure sugar. They're amazing. <laughs> they are amazing. Jeez, what are you going to do? Eat one right in front of them? Obviously. <laughs> the hell? Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> They're amazing. She's gone for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, good. I'll have to take charge But the now. funny part was that I kept... I was like, put these in the bag from Amanda, because if I don't see them, I'll forget we have them, yeah. which is exactly what happened. Which is a good thing, because, you then, know, if you leave them out, mm -hmm. you're going to be grabbing one every time you walk by. Right. And so then I took them out of the back, the package from her today, to get ready for the video, and I was like, I forgot about these! <laughs> They're really good. So we got maple candy, we got scissors, we got preamble sampler. I mean, life can't get much better. Here's it. All right? All right. All right, what mm -hmm. else we got? That's all for mail call. That's all for mail call. Mail call is now done. Right. We're moving on to... Haul. Haul! Okay. So, I obviously hit up Stash on Load because, duh. So, I got this off of... Uh, uh, stash on Load, jeez. <laughs> um, Where are we, Stephanie? Yeah, I know. And then this flunk <laughs> to Cincinnati out of a... So this is the Prairie Score Book 172 Christmas Favorites. Look at that. And I'm sorry, but like I just really like the original cardstock stuff. I just do. Yeah. Um, and there's a card that goes with it that looks like this, but I love him. And I don't don't do him. Don't like creepy <laughs> snowman. I like this one. I like both of these Santas. I even like this point setup, but see how there's like black work kind of around them yeah, all? Yeah. I really, really like that. So Pam and I will probably split those up and do some. Yeah, them. I used um, I used a design from Prairie Schooler Summer Days, mm -hmm. uh, incorporated it into a small for StitchCon, and um, I had never done one of those little Prairie Schoolers that have the black work around it. They're super fun, yeah. super fun. You can do anything with them. Um, and I got this off Stash on Load Two, a Mill Hill kit, which is called For Santa. Look how cute that is, with all the cookies. Love that. Um, and these need to go over here so they go. Okay. Um, you'll find out later that this is the Mill Hill video. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also received our issue four of X Stitch magazine with the green toilet on the front. Um, I will. Um, Danielle Stitcherista, she did a flip through of this yeah. magazine, so I will link that right. below. Um, there's nothing that's, like, uh, popping out of here that I'm, like, I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to stitch. But there is an Emma Condon in here, which I think <coughs> is pretty cool. And there is a... Are you going to make it over there, Pam? Yeah. So this is the Emma Con Condon. And it says, say hello to my little friends. That's really cute. Because it's got all the... Stuff Cac with aloe. Cacti. Cacti. And then the Fiddlesticks AU pattern, which we all know that I love Fiddlesticks AU. Hold, please. Uh, I think it's at the beginning. Oh, well, I like that too, but that's... Okay, so... Uh, damn! I like that. All good things are wild and free. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. so there's it really a, is pretty cool. Um, so there's a couple really cool things in here. So I'll well, link... We just got invoice for the next issue, so we oh, got cool. another one coming. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, and then, um, I made some purchases from the attic. No. Duh. Um, and McKenna brought them for me from Arizona to StitchCon. Right. Thanks, McKenna. Um, a couple Caratel samplings. This is Tomcat Alley. Oh, that's super cute. I love that. I love that. With a white pumpkin. Are you just kidding me? Say, look at, this is like a, this is the perfect... Pam and Stephanie chart. Really? Cause Cats and white pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Call me. Wow. Super cute. Um, Never it, seen it before either. No? It's been on my wish list forever. And then 
wait for it, um, there is a Hawk Run Hollow Sal starting November 1st? No. October, October 1st. 1st. I never, I can never can remember. Anyway, so it's starting October 1st, um, and it is put on by Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl McKinney, McKinney, linked below. Um, and uh, so, but <coughs> it's not any particular one. You just pick a hop run and you go with it. Right. So Pam is going to focus, I think, on Halloween. Yeah, I think I've got to get going on that. Yeah, so then... Although I really, really, really want to do shores, of right. course, and I have shores, but... Right. Um, I've started doing the border in Halloween, so right. I think I'm going to do yeah. that. And then I am going to start map. map. So, um, if you watched our video on Thursday, you know that me and Julie McConnell spent time together at StitchCon. And I was telling her about stitching this, and she was like, do the bird first. Yeah. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Because if Julie McConnell tells you to do it, you do it. Right. So, and then yesterday we went to Joanne's and I kitted it all up. Um, it is called for to be done in NPI silks, but I'd like to eat again sometime. So, yeah. there's that. Right. And I am going to put Map of Hawk Run on this beautiful, incredible piece of fabric. Did you not know that I was going to do that? No. I'm just saying to the people. Oh, okay. Where do you see this? So, you all know Birds with Feather, right? So, uh, the Crestus designer. Um... Birds of a Feather is the same person that did the print that I got from Barbara from Market from like 10 years ago. Uh, and then, um, sadly, the designer from Birds of a Feather is passed away. Um, and Birds of a Feather actually used to make fabric, too. Well, tell them about the button on the cash register. Yeah, so, and that's what I was just going to say. Oh, sorry. Was that the Keepsakes which has been around forever, and... Birds of a Feather used to sell fabric, and Barbara used to sell a ton of it, and there is a literally a button on our register that is for fabric from Birds of a Feather. And I was like, because when I first started working at the shop, and I was to me. learning the register, I was like, why is there a Birds of a Feather fabric button? And she was like, yeah, they used to make fabric. And I'm like, what? And she proceeded to tell me this story about this fabric called Meadowlark. And she was like, it's this beautiful fabric, which you obviously can't get anymore because she's with us anymore and like she's like I would get so, get it in and then it would be I would be out of it the next out day the door, right? and I'm like whoa so McKenna was in the back room of the attic uh, another LNS that's been around forever and found I want to say almost two yards of birds of a feather metal work um, and you can see birds of a feather metal work it's 36 count, so um, we'll see yeah. if I want to do one yeah. or two. Um, it's yeah. hand-dyed, so the holes are going to be smaller. So she's got a plan. We'll see if the plan can be executed. Right. Um, In any event, we have this beautiful piece of metal art right. that we got from the attic. Right. And um, we feel very fortunate. I talked to McKenna a little bit at StitchCon, and she said that since then, they found another couple of pieces of it, and yeah, it's a perfect match. Right, I mean, seriously. Mm, hi. It's just whether the count will be something you can live with. Right, exactly. Um, but we got the first one that McKenna found in mm -hmm. the in the back room, so we feel yes, very we fortunate because I said, you know, has anybody grabbed it up? And she said no, and I said we'll take it. Mm -hmm. So it was too good of a price to pass up for that fabric. Right. Uh, and then if you also, if you watched our StitchCon video, you know that we were uh, gifted um, a couple of gift cards from some, from one from Marcy and then um, another viewer sent us stuff and then she said that uh, there was a gift card waiting for us at the shop. So we did some shopping. So yeah, yeah. Um, and so I spent... My whole gift card. <laughs> Pam was good. She was like, eh. I still have a little left on mine. Yeah. And I was like, mm -mm, nope, buying all the things. So, um, this is what I got from Keepsakes on Friday. This, Lizzie Kate, is it too late to be good? With a little clock on the bottom. That's super cute. So cute. Love that. Yeah. Um, and then this, Lizzie Kate, because I did place a Lizzie Kate order with Barbara, so I had all these in my thing. This is the Celebrate with Charm Flip It. This is the Easter one, which is the bash cat. I love that. I like his face. Um, Make sure you hold them up long enough. Okay, sorry. The Lizzie Kate Three Little Words. I've stitched 
the ones I'm I'm not doing them all together like this because there's some that I don't like um, but I have two of them done and this is the last one that I want to do uh, embrace the journey life is good love that was that long enough yeah okay Got mm -hmm. just checking I know it's episode 53 and whatever um, and then this is the last string <clears throat> this is the last yeah. string that I needed, and now I have it. And this is Mary String, obviously by Lizzie Kate. Yeah. So cute. Um, and then I am collect. I do have the rest of the ones in the series uh, on my wish list still, but I bought this one because it's my favorite. Uh, and this is part of the Bent Creek Snappers monthly series. And this is the July. Look at those birds. Aren't they redonkulously cute? What color is that? Oh, please. Deep sea. I love that color. Love that. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. um, at Keepsakes, it's stitched all in a big row, so I might do that. Um, I got this hands-on design. This one is, speaking of row, called row. Um, if there is no wind, row. Again, another series. I don't love all of them, but I really, really, really like this one. Don't get it twisted. I don't bring in row things. I like the saying. Okay? Don't. Well, don't. The oars just provide some color. Correct. Don't be thinking I'm out there, like, freaking doing stuff on the water. Um, <laughs> besides besides <that>. sinking. <laughs> Correct. Um, what, whatever, Pam. You would sink, too. Yes, um, I would. So, and then this is Tiny Tidings 22 from Lizzie Kate. Um, I just love the finishing on them, too. So, yeah. I'm going to see if I can bribe Jan into doing it the same way. Yeah. I really love this one because that's a cookie. It's a cookie button. I like this one. I like them. And not, Oh, yeah. There's the cookie button right, right there. I'm not crazy about either of these, but I really like these three. So, yep. cool. I got... Uh, Brace yourselves, I bought two heartstring samplery charts. Um, oh, that's like disbelief, not that I don't like heartstring. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't S misunderstand. Shocker, yeah. So I think I'm going to make some changes to the colors on this, but I really, 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 really love it. Yeah, yeah. You've all seen this, Cross Stitch Nation. Yeah. Because after this weekend, yeah. I really realized that I do belong to Cross Stitch Nation. Yeah. And P.S. Beth Twist, I love how you wrote on the back, like, you know, it says like the stitch count and the threads and the fabric, and then it goes... The frame was found at a thrift store. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Because it's so Beth Twist. Keeping it real Beth. Right. If you, I'll link her floss tube below. So. Yeah. Um, sorry. Okay. And the other heart strength sampler I got, you all seen this. It was a market release this year, which is the Prairie Life Sampler. Yeah. Um, I am not crazy about the border. Pam likes the border. I don't know what I'll do. But I like everything. I like the sentiment. I like all the things. Maybe you can do the middle and I'll do the border. That is perfect. What about that? I love that. Um, but I loved the books. Uh, home on, I don't know what, what you're trying to say. One of the books, the Home on the Prairie. Little House, Little on, House the on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie. Jeez, I'm crawl. <laughs> Little House on the Prairie. I love those books. Um, and also, um, we visited Laura Ingle, Ingalls Wilder's home on a family vacay when I was a kid. So, that's why I like that. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, Christine, switch all the things. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? So I bought all three. You might want to turn off the treadmill, Christine. I'm... But don't fall over. Don't fall over, please. I bought all three parts to um, the things unseen. And so, Christine, we're doing a sal. Not today, not tomorrow, but I will eventually kit this up and stitch this with you. Um, and anybody else that wants to stitch it with us, too. So, my ideas for a hashtag are hashtag things unseen Sal or hashtag HK things unseen Sal. I, no, don't use the letters. No one will know. Well, it's because it's from Helen Keller. Well, do Helen Keller Sal. Don't use letters. Hashtag Helen Keller Shell. Yes. <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Yep. Do whatever you All want. All right. Turn it back on, Christine. Kay. We're done. Yep. I mean, we're not done. But. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, and then I got... She's probably cracking up at us right I now. I know she is. She loves us. It's fine. And then I got the Primitive Hair Beauty and the Beast. I am not in any way, shape, or form a Disney fan, but my brother and I both have our favorite Disney movies. Because when we were little, our parents bought us books on, or like the story on tape. And we would sit there and we would play those tapes over the over and over again. And I always... Model parent. And I always pictured myself to be Belle. Just saying. Never she, knew like, this. True confessions. Never she, really? In my life. Never. Really? No. Because she like read books and all the things. I was like, I love her. And so when this came out, I was like, yes, I have to stitch that. My brother's book was the Jungle Book, by the way. And if you care. And then I thought that um, Marcy, I bought this specifically with your gift card because I wanted you to know that I bought my first Mirabilia. Where's the bell? Where's the bell? No, I didn't finish my first Mirabilia. Oh, well, once she finishes it, we'll bring the bell. But I bought my first Mirabilia. She's had her in my eyes on this for almost since she started stitching. Seriously. Yep. Uh, Royal Games 1. Yeah. I have no desire to do Royal Games 2, but that is what I'm going to stitch. So, I will stitch this in your honor. There you go, Marcy. Miss Marcy. And uh, I didn't, I have the embellishment pack on my wish list, but I didn't buy that either. I didn't buy that too, because I was like, one step at a time, Mass. One step at a time. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to show what you got at the LNS? Yes. There you go. Right I there. do. All right, so with my gift card. Nope, not those last two things. There you go. I got this little chart. <laughs> from, it's hard to tell what it is. I know. Um, and I can't show that it's from Summer House Stitchworks. Right. Everybody's um, excited about their stuff. Mm hmm. And it's hard to see this. This was a market release, wasn't it? I feel like it was. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry to be so vague. Um, but um, I want to stitch something. There's an anchor in there. Yeah, see it right here. All right. And then there's a, looks like a metal, like a white star right with the gold around it. A yep. couple of little smalls. Mm -hmm. Nautical. So cute. Something I can use to do but smalls. it says... Postcards from the heart is where it's called. You didn't. You didn't get the Ohio. No. Oh. I got stuff that I thought would just stitch up quick. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Um, this has been out for a while, but I I just think it's hysterically funny. Um, it's um, our very own Sue Hillis. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but uh, ten extra pounds on hips, thighs, and rear. <laughs> I mean, this is this is my story of my life. Uh, it's called, um, <laughs> what is it called? It's called Post Stitches. No, that was the series. Hold on. Oh, please. She didn't come up with a name for it? Come on, Sue. Sue. Wait a minute. You, Not you, sweet thing. It's not favorite things. Well, what in the hell, well, Sue Hillis? It's number, no, wait a minute. Don't, don't say that. Uh, it's PS 176. It Sounds like public school 176. Right. Anyway, isn't that cute? It's really cute. If you want it, call Keepsakes. <laughs> yeah, because they've got it. 513. All right. 563-6845. Um, you know me. Now, this what? combines two of my likes, all right? This What's combines that? white pumpkins and penny rugs. And more on penny oh. rugs in a minute. But this is from the Scarlet House Penny Pumpkin. I love this. And That's you can just... Cute. Barely see around the border, but around the border is uh, the penny rug motif, more or less. Are you going to stitch on a 40 count? <laughs> no, it will not be done on a 40 count. 40 so count it may be a larger, a larger design. <laughs> um, I've had my eye on this for a while. This is from Silver Creek, and it's called um, Promise of Spring. I had to search for the title. I've seen lots of people stitching this on Instagram. Love it. The little crocuses coming up. What's the matter? I'm trying to see what the linen was they used. Tarnished. Yeah, tarnish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, now, we got to keep some of these. I know, Pam. Okay. This is from Plum Street. 
the lovely Paulette, uh, Sampler House 3, a.k.a. Grand Ole Flag. Love that. Love it. And this is from um, Madame Chantilly. We love Madame Chantilly. Yes, we do. We bought a bunch of Madame Chantilly at Stitchaway because Barbara had a trunk show. Yep. And this is called A Walk to the Sea. <coughs> now, that's gonna that fabric choice is going to get bumped up. Faux show. Faux show. Uh, but it's just darling. It's got a little bit of a European feel to it. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I still think it's cute. Walk to the Sea. See that? Hit the hit the thing. Doesn't help. No, because the pictures. Okay, sorry. And then these are from Hins Hinsight. Hinsight. Yep. Hinsight. Never know. I say Hinsight. There's one for every state, tomato, apparently. Tomato. And so, of course, um, with the lobster charm, I had to get Maine. And um, the Ohio one has a cardinal yep. uh, thing on it. So, but if you see, look. See on the back, Texas, Florida, Michigan. So you can get, yep. they have the whole state. So, yep. again, if you're looking for So a that's what state, I got with part of the gift certificate. Correct. So I have more to get. Right. Okay. So uh, you can show some more of your haul. Okay. So, um, yeah. Not going to editorialize about the new mirror situation. The mirror situation. Let's just call it the mirror situation. And you all know what we're talking about. If you don't, you're a little probably better rock. off. But um, I'm having another candy, by the way. We're not sure how this happened, but I are. indicated to um, Crazy Annie Stitchin that I was interested in Seaside Kingdom, and um, then she picked ten winners. Winners she at random. Went, she she went. She did. She word spam word. She had a drawing, mm -hmm. and um, I got the um, original release of... The re-release, you mean? The re-release <laughs> of... Jeez. Sorry, Annie. Seaside Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday this will hang in a grandchild's bedroom. Do you <gasps> suppose? Yeah, Pam. That's a great idea. Good the embellishment. And all the stuffs. Yep. So, um, that is super exciting. That's as far as I am on it, this people. Is, I've got the chart and the and We've the shown more mirrors in this episode of have Floss we? Tube than we ever have before. Have we? People are going to be like, is this the right channel? All right. So, when I showed um, some Praiseworthies two weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, somebody said, have you seen Memorial Park? And I had not. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the uh, praiseworthies uh, I'm attracted to are the Halloween ones, mm -hmm. the big yards, the bed and breakfast, all of those. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I searched on eBay for it and I found it. It's a pullout from a magazine. And I want to open up the page so you can get a feel for this. Uh -huh. This is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's called Memorial Park. And I can't even tell you what magazine it came out of. I wish I could. Probably just cross stitch, I'm gonna say. But oh, that's the second half of the chart. Okay. Yeah, but this is the full picture of this thing. Um, Amazing. Look at this. This is praiseworthy stitches, people. I bet you've never seen this. Holy moly, does that look fun? There's a baseball game going on. Yes, ma'am. Oh it's awesome. It is awesome. There's. There's um, stadium seating. There's a guy in a tree. There's a there's a crab. Bunting. It says around the borders. It says popcorn and peanuts, base bases. bases and bats, home runs and hot dogs. It's baseball. I'm serious, people. Oh my god! That's I awesome. didn't I didn't pay too much for that. Um, Can you start it today? Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. What are you doing while this uploads? Just saying. I mean, this Sam is just, have that done by this is a video. find. This is a find. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick that up. And the Thank mop. you to whoever oh commented. Wait, and so I'm... all these pendants are buttons. Yep. 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 Those little di uh, uh, oh my triangular God. ones. And look, there's a little white button for the baseball. Yeah. It's in the air. Yeah. Are you dead on the floor? That's so cute. Oh, my God. 
All right. Um, was over on Etsy. Did I get that on eBay or Etsy? eBay. I did get it on eBay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But over on Etsy. <laughs> Project level four. This is serious. All right. So it's been established. I'm a project level four stitcher. You're a project level five. Let's be real. But that project. I'll is take five. I'll take six. Whatever. You can only get to five, so slowly roll. So, I know that Teresa, over at Shakespeare's Peddler, has come out with a companion piece to this one uh, that's more stitchy related, but I had had favorited, you know, put the little red heart up on the, um, the first one, which was Antique Locks and Keys. I love this history. I'm not really an antiquer. No. An antiquer? Is that a word? A person who likes antiques? No, that's not me. But locks and keys. So I got didn't that. Didn't Nicole from, stitch that? She may have. So that's from Jen Stitch and Niche. Pick that up. Link below. For a while it was unavailable from Jen Stitch and Niche, but when Teresa came up with the um, companion piece, um, she oh, cool. she gave more of that one to Jen. So you can find that on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And um, I love the 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 Jenny Beans. I love the Jenny Beans. All the Jenny Beans. Oh, and this okay. is. Um, this is Jenny Bean's Christmas sampler, and I just love it. Just love it. From Teresa. I really like the, same, the saying. The saying reads, um, And had I but one penny, thou shouldest have it to buy gingerbread. I think that's cute. And uh, right gladly by Jenny Bean. Love yep. it. Thanks, Teresa, for the beautiful design. Pick that up. Mm -hmm. All right. So where do we go from here? We go uh, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. More from... The lovely Laurie at Sarah Fam. At Sarah Fam Fabrics. Go find her on Etsy. Um, not Etsy, no, Facebook. Facebook. Sorry. Um, a group of local stitchers um, are planning a trip, and that's all we're going to say today about it. Right. But um, <laughs> we are planning some group activities, some group stitching activities. And um, we all bought this fabric from Sarah Fam Fabrics. And we just got a bigger piece so we could cut it in half for both of us. And the name of this fabric, I don't know who came up with it. Did Laurie or did our friend? No, Lori did. Oh, okay. Um, she's calling it shenanigans. It really doesn't look shenanigany. <laughs> that's, a, that's a word? Yes. Call Webster now. <laughs> Shenanigy. <laughs> anyway. But look at, the, look at this. It's like this. Is this the... Oh, my God. This it's is like the dark warmest, beautiful. beautiful brown shenanigans. She's Shenanigan. calling it. Shenanigans. 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 And we are all, our group, are all going to stitch something fallish mm -hmm. on this shenanigans fabric. Yes, we are. And um, I can't wait. Um, do you know what you're going to stitch yet? I have some ideas. I do have some ideas. I have some ideas that are would be like using a variegated thread, all the same color on this dark, oh. in a fall, like perhaps an ink circles, oh. or something that is monochromatic, but variegated. That'd be pretty. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Coats make sense. shenanigans from Laurie at Seraphim Fabrics. Fabrics. Find her on Facebook. Her fabrics are stunning. Beautiful. Stunning. Okay, so next we're going to talk to you about a little trip that we made on Saturday. Uh, it was a really, really, really long trip. It was about five minutes away from our house. Um, and it was in Mason, Ohio. Yep, yeah, and funny enough, we live in Mason, Ohio. So the long, the long story short is that there's a chart that Pam saw on Instagram that Pam wanted. Or she's, no, a chart that she saw being stitched at StitchCon on the finish table. And you were like, I want to stitch that. It was that 272 words. Oh, yeah. 270. The Gettysburg Address. Right. And you so Pam said to me, she said, hey, tomorrow when you go into work, can you check to see if you can get that from Hopman's order for me? That's right. And I said, well, I could check it from home on the Hopman website. Right. So I went to check. Right. And I was just tooling around on the Hopman website, and I looked at, like, find a shop. And I just clicked on Ohio. And I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. It's like some stops I've heard of, some that I haven't, and some that are online only, all the things. And then I get down to this shop called Martha's 
heirlooms in Mason, Ohio. Who knew? And I was like, huh? Where the heck is that? So I clicked on the name of the shop. It took me to Martha Martha's heirlooms website. We could walk there. We could walk there. Um, her She does, according to her website, and because we went there, um, she focuses a lot on smocking. Mm -hmm. And so for anybody that doesn't know what smocking is, um, it is the way that I describe it. It's like on little girls, like dresses and stuff. It's like when it's bunched up like this, right? With a little... It's like super tight, pleats. drawn together pleats. Yeah. And you often saw it. There was a brand um, or a children's clothing designer mm -hmm. named Polly Flinders. Back when she was a little girl, there was a Polly Flinders outlet in downtown Cincinnati. And I probably bought about three or four different Polly Flinders dresses she she remembers one that was kind of a um, from pictures. I don't remember wearing it. But no, but she remembered from photo albums and so forth. And it always featured the smocking at the top. Right. You know, cute little um, rounded collar. Mm -hmm. I wish the, I had a picture. I could with insert. the smocking, and um, so that's what Martha has uh, mostly. Her, mostly. I mean, she carries like all these smocking magazines. Yeah, and, uh, right when you walk in, and like smocking like designs and patterns and stuff and she also will like do the smocking like uh for you like if you had a dress that you wanted smock whatever anyway so but then she also said that like on her website it says that she sells cross stitch stuff too and we were like tell me more so we decided to go in there and we decided to go in there anonymously right so it was kind of like a covert operation but we didn't say anything about keepsakes. We didn't say anything about floss tube. We didn't say anything about what our names are. Nothing. I mean, right. we told them what our names are, but we like didn't say, oh, we go to keepsakes right. because we didn't want to, we just wanted to see what We just wanted was. to be we, anonymous. We were investigating and seeing what the situation was. Martha was very nice very to nice. us. Very nice. She, uh, it, it's a smaller shop. I mean, it's very smaller small. than keepsakes, but... Um, and it's just one floor and it's kind of like these three rooms, like you one room and the second yeah. room there. And so, uh, in the middle room is where the cross stitch stuff is. So she had like a, ta a little bit of a taste of everything. Mm -hmm. So she had like a few little house patterns, a few Lizzie Cates, a few Rose of Manners, a few like not anything at all like keepsakes. Nothing like keepsakes. Oh, no, 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 no. But it was just like a couple of things here and there. Right. right. Um, but she also had fabric. Uh, and I suspect the cross stitch stuff doesn't move off the shelves too much. Probably. Truthfully. Right. It wasn't outdated. It wasn't 80s junk or any of that no. stuff. It was current. Right. Um, but it probably is not her main line. Right. She gets, right? Yeah, I would assume that the majority of her business comes from smocking. Yeah. And alterations or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then there were two other women that were in there that... Um, were sewing. Were on sewing. the sewing machines. Yep. Doing smocking and stuff. Um, and they were very pleasant and they talked to us and it was super, 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 super nice. nice. Um, and, but what this woman had a lot of that Barbara doesn't carry a whole lot of right. is Mill Hill kits. Yeah. And she also sells all the Mill Hill frames. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, file that away for future reference. Right. She also does sell, um, like one of every color. Like, so when you go into keepsakes, if you've been there, you know that like, we have a classic color works wall and a we star works wall and a general arts wall. And we have like multiple skeins of colors, right? This Martha's Martha's heirloom, she has like one of most colors. So it's not, you know what I mean? It's not a lot. She does carry a full line of DMC. Um, but yeah, so we did find a few things. We bought a lot of Mill Hill stuff and we filed away uh, that she um, has Mill Hill frames for later. So, um, what I bought, um, you all know, hopefully, maybe you don't, um, Vintage Country Mocha Fabric. Um, this is the white version. So it's called Vintage Smoky White by Zweigert. Um, so the the thing, the cool thing is, is that she's obviously getting stuff from Hoffman, right? Because her store is listed on the Hoffman website. So I was able to, like, if, if I wanted to, which I have no desire to do, 
but I because that would be cheating on keepsakes, and I'm not trying to be cheating on keepsakes. Um, but it, you know, if there was something that I you can go to Martha and she can order something, right? Through, for you through Hoffman, but so right. it's keepsakes, so I go to Martha. But um, so this is what it her place looks like. Martha's heirlooms. Her name is Martha Bailey, right there on Main Street in Mason, Ohio. Um, she does have very limited hours. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to 4, and then Saturday, 10 to 3. So, um, I got that fabric. I also bought uh, Woodland Babies 2 from the Victoria Sampler, which I have one, I want to say. Yeah, Woodland Babies 1. I do have that one. So, this is two. And then um, the little tartlets. Martha sells those too. So, when I finish them, I can put them in there. And then I got two Mill Hill kits. So this is from the Autumn Harvest Collection, Wacky Wendy. Look at her. <laughs> and I have the black cat in that collection. And then I got from the Buttons and Beads Collection, which is um, where you use the frames. Um, this is called the Haunted Library. And there's glow in the dark thread in it too. I can't freaking wait. Look at that big ghost button. Love it. So what did you get at Martha's Pam? Well, I just started drooling over these mill hills. Let me tell you, I had seen this one on one, two, three, and it's called City Bank. But what it reminds me of is um, my first library job was uh, at the Baxter Memorial Library in Gorham, Maine. I was the first um, librarian to run the library who uh, was not from Gorham back in uh, 1978. Cool. I was there uh, for two years, and this looks like the front of Baxter Library. So I will change it from a bank to a library. Oh, cool. So you're going to change the letters? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Um, I love this one. This is called Holiday Memories because... I love the sled. I love how they designed the sled leaning up against the fence. Me too. I think that's adorable. Yep. Um, I also picked up, um, they call this Joe's Garage. Um, I have a special reason for getting this, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh -huh. And also, they have some um, wool applique kits, and Stephanie spied this. Mm -hmm. This is um, all-inclusive, the thread, the wool, the... Um, trimming fabric all included and um, it's called warm hands and it makes up into these wool applique mitten ornaments and there is an ice skate isn't that cute and I was talking to Judy over at the shop our friend Judy over at the shop on Friday and I said you know I've always been very hesitant about moving into another craft Judy's a multi crafter and I just I don't have the room and I don't have the money and I don't have the time to branch out into another craft. Most valuable stitching time. Some of it does not interest me at all. But one thing that I like, and that came out in my buying that white pumpkin, uh, penny pumpkin pattern, is I love penny rugs. I love using that blanket stitch, and um, I just like that look. So maybe this will help me get back into um, wool applique. Cool. And so that's why I got that. Oh yeah, we'll leave that separate because it doesn't go with our cross stitch stash. No, we have to have now we have to start a special wool applique stash. God help us. Oh God help us all. Alright, okay. so what's next? So that is the end of the mail call and the end of the end haul. of mail call. And haul. And we're at also. an hour and a half. So whatever, they love it. Quit look making that face. So um this is a separate section that we've never done before right and it's actually happened like we have three things that all happened in the last two weeks that fit into the category so this is uh the promo section of the promo, promo. got that right so um and i just want to put a disclaimer on this we are not a promoted channel we don't no. monetize our channel we don't, we're not an amazon influencer we're not trying to make money have no plans of, to do so any of those things right so but um, you do you, but that's not us. Right. And quit picking at your nails. Sorry. This is what so, happens. Right. So, but we have um, some really good companies um, and, or makers, basically, um, who are small businesses. Quit picking at your nails. 
And, well, you're looking down so you look super bored. Oh, I'm not bored. I'm yeah. picking up my nails. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> there she goes again. Just like a no. Sorry. Yeah, uh huh. I'm here. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and so we've, some people have reached out. <laughs> so, so some people have reached out we to us. We crack each other up all we the do. time. We'll watch our videos back and it's just funny all oh, the we're time. Cry- we're laughing so hard we're crying. Yep. Anyway. Anyway, back to the makers. So they, um, have sent us stuff in hopes that we can reach out to all of you. Right. Um, but we don't want to come off as salespeople. So we're not trying to sell you stuff. If we show you the stuff and you're like, that's stupid. We don't endorse. We don't. Right. Influence, um, we're just us, okay? We're just us, right? However, we want to share really great companies with you if you don't know about them. Right. Because we do obviously support Shop Small, and we support the Etsy's, and we support the things. So, right. with that being said, we have three different makers to tell you about. Right. So, the first one is um, a girl whose name is a- and, and all the information will be linked below. Right. So, the first maker is a person named April. Uh, and she owns a company called Knitting Kitten Crafts. So, I just want to go Um, I won't forget, but that's all. And, uh, she makes scissor fobs. So, she sent us this really nice letter. Um, and there are two different lengths. And the first one is $7 and the second one is $10. And she sent us each one, um, on her um and in hopes that we would show you and maybe you would like one they are really really this i think this is the longer version um because i can't imagine a longer one than these but um this is her card so knitting kitten crafts and it is she has it uh, obviously an instagram she does have a youtube account and then a facebook page so uh, there's that. So that's how you can get in touch with that. I will put all of this contact info below. And so this is the scissor fob that she made for me. It is stunning. And then at the bottom, this says to the moon and back. Um, heavy. Um, and then you, they're customizable too. So you can pick which colors you like, all the things. So it's like for scale, it's about as tall as my head. And then, what did you get, Pam? Okay, so um, another one. I don't know. Are they the same length? I don't yes, know. Yes, I believe. Um, they're the same length. And um, this is one that she sent me. Yep. Um, it's, it's very heavy as well. Mine has... I just eight. literally just said they're not too heavy. Oh, Can I they? feel like they're heavy. Oh, okay. But maybe that's because they're so long. Right. So, uh, lobster claw are on one end. Yep. And um, she put an anchor on mine, and mine is blue. And as you can see, scale... So I mean, maybe yours is longer. Put it on your ear, I dare you. <laughs> so there you go. Let me see. Is it the same length? Yep. yep, they are. Yep, same length. Uh, I feel like this this has some weight to it. There it is. Yeah, up but close. You, you also have heavier beads on it than I do. Maybe, maybe That's it's it. the weight of the beads and the silver connectors. They're very, mm-hmm. they're very elegant. Yes. Very so elegant. go check her out. So we will link her below. Yep. Um, with all of her in- her Instagrams and all of the things. Right. So there is that. So the second thing, right? We have made it next level floss tube people. Yeah, we got our first coupon code. We've got a coupon code for this. Oh my this. god! So this wait is funny. for this. So this is hysterical because the funny thing about it is that I follow this uh, maker on Instagram, and it is called Diddly Daddle Designs, linked below. Um, yeah, show the card, Pam. All right, there you go. Hit the screen. Mm-hmm. Diddly Daddle Designs. Um, and she is on Etsy. She's also on Instagram. Teresa Alber. Yes. Um, what I will say about Teresa, which is amazing, is that she has phenomenal customer service. Like, there was a bag that I saw that, like, I have another. She makes project bags. So, I uh, there was a bag that I saw on her shop. But I wanted, like, it tweaked a little bit. And I sent her a message and was like, is this possible? And she was like, absolutely. And she responded immediately and it was amazing. So there's that. So I saw a post that Teresa had put up on Instagram of this friggin' fabric. And I just sent it to mom. And I was like, look at this fabric. It's so cute. Then Pam went and bought it for me. And 
I didn't know that she'd done that. I was so surprised. And, but Teresa watches our videos and she sent Pam a bag too. And so, I did not know that was going to happen for the record. Right. And so did she, not. so when she sent the bag, she sent a card and all the things. And then she said that to please talk about this on our foster if we want to. And to let everyone know that you can get 15% off by using the coupon code, just keep stitching all one word. Okay. okay. Got that? 15% off. Her bags are incredibly well priced. Um, there are other companies that I refuse to buy bags from because I think that they're too expensive, flat out. Um, and I've made a bag before, so I like know the work that goes into it. But at the same time, it's like really. And Teresa's bags are not the case, and her bags are exceptionally well made. Mm -hmm. So first, I will show you the bag that I got. Are you ready? So, first of all, look at this friggin' fabric. How funny is this fabric? Like, he's this cat with milk, this cat with the day with all the fat. Oh my god, I'm dead. And then this is the zipper pull, which are two covered buttons on top of each other, which I really, really, really like. I love that. And a nice white zipper. And so the back is all like this with the red and white polka dot. And then the inside is the red and white polka dot. And then as you can see, it says Daily Daddle Designs on it. It's awesome. Awesome. I love this bag. Um, and I want to say it fits in 11 by 11 Q-Stop. Oh, it does. You, tr you tried it the other day. I did? Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, 11 by 11 with the zipper at the very, very top. Right. The, the zipper at the top is awesome, and which I really like. Yeah. So I know that there's a bunch of variations on project bags and things, but so this is a nice design. A really, really, very, very nice, nice design. design. Um, and then so show what Teresa sent you, Pam. Yeah. So I seriously, I did not. This was not why I ordered it. I ordered Stephanie a bag because she's been working her friggin' butt off over the <laughs> StitchCon convention or whatever, whatever that was, right? And, uh, <laughs> whatever that thing we did. That thing we did. <laughs> And Stephanie opens up the box and she goes, what's this? And I said... Because this one was on top, so I was like, what the heck is this? All right, so same size. Mm -hmm. Look at this fabric. Look at this fabric. Now, I don't know whether Teresa knows this or not. She may have just thought, oh, this has lighthouses on it. This would be good for Pam. These are actual lighthouses, people. That's Portland Headlight. That's Portland Headlight. That's the nubble. Right. That's Owl's Head, I think. Yep, it is. These are these, these are, are main actual... lighthouses. Yeah, that's the nubble. Mm-hmm. And look. The covered button thing, too. This thing. It's like two covered buttons. Smashed together. Glued together. Glued together, not smashed. Glued. Mm hmm You see that? Yep. Zipper at the top. Mm hmm The inside fabric, you're going to die. You're going to die. It's like matte fabric. Matte. It's probably like coastal matte. It is. I can't even read the words. Let's see. This one says oceans. Oceans. So it's like a world map. Oceans. With little ships and shit. <laughs> ships and shit. You know. Diddly daddle. Diddly daddle. daddle. Designs. designs. There you go. Diddly daddle designs. Mm -hmm. On um, Etsy. They're already reasonably priced. If you use the discount code, just keep stitching, all one word, mm -hmm. you get an automatic 15% off that. Mm -hmm. I've already ordered another bag from her. 11 by 11. Mm -hmm. No flap, no button, no Velcro. No nothing. I love it. They're amazing. Go find her. Because they're awesome. How long does the discount code go for? I have no idea. Uh, Give me the keep... card. It might be in the card because this is the card that she. This is the card that she sent us. Um, so I've set up a coupon code in my shop for your viewers for fifteen percent off. Five plus five plus two plus two plus one. Cause math. The code is just keep stitching. Um, it doesn't she say. She doesn't say. So just keep using it until it doesn't work anymore. I don't know. Just right. buy five or six of these things. Exactly. Just buy all the bags. Because we want Teresa to get all the business. So, yes. Thank you so much, Teresa. I, like, am dead. We have our own coupon code. 
I was like, Pam, we got a coupon code. I love it. I'm dead. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now we want to talk about the. Yep. Nope. yep this. Oh yep. well, show that because she sent that for you too. That's from Teresa. Oh, and Teresa sent me this, which I have stitched this. This hangs on the wall over there. Mm -hmm. This is Cape Elizabeth Light. Yep. And, and there she is. I probably let this leaflet go in some kind of de-stashing. I'm very pleased to have it back. So, Yay. thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. So, the last uh, maker... Um, if you watch the Teresa, you know that she did like a flip through or whatever, not flip through, but an unboxing is what it's called of, uh, a new stitch along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, this pattern is called Adventure Awaits. Um, and Caterpillar Cross Stitch, uh, she contacted me, um, on Instagram, I want to say. Her name is Sally. And she sent me this wonderful, wonderful note. Um, and uh, they have a website, which is linked below. And the sale started on June 22nd. So the picture in here is all blurry because when I received this, it's, it was right before StitchCon. And I told Sally, I was like, I won't be able to talk about this till after StitchCon. Is that okay? And she said, yeah, that's fine. So uh, it was released in pieces. It's a mystery stitch along, but it's a world map. And her designs are adorable. Um, if you would like to, you can just get the patterns like PDF if you want to buy them that way. And then she'll email them to you on the 22nd of every month. Um, and then, uh, da, 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 da. so I'm trying to read this so I don't miss anything. She's on Facebook, she's on YouTube, and then she's also on Instagram. There's a special dedicated Facebook group that stitchers can join for free to find out more about the stitch along, share images, make friends, get support. Um, there's a 10% off for first time customers and a free ebook of cross stitch patterns when people sign up for our newsletter. Um, her name is Sally Wilson at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So, here is the situation. So, she messaged me and she was like, Hey, will you do this thing for us? And I was like, of course I'll do this thing for us, for you, because your patterns are cute. So she sent me a kit with the uh, Zweiger Evenweave fabric, the light blue fabric, all of the DMC floss already organized, all the instructions, and then she emailed me on the 22nd of June. Uh, during StitchCon, she emailed me the very first release. So I will get started with that. That is very exciting. And dun, 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 dun. she sent me one to give to you all too. So I have two, one for me and one for one of you. So, um, so what do they got to do to get one, Stephanie? What do you have to do? So all you have to do is uh, answer the question below, uh, which is if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? If money was no object, right? So, Adventure Awaits. Adventure Awaits. Let's go. Right. So, you can um, check out the Adventure Awaits uh, or the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Instagram page where you can see pictures of that. I will tell you that the fabric included in this kit is even weave. So, if you are a strictly Ada stitcher, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but maybe this will give you a chance to, you know, come out of your comfort zone a little bit. Right. So, um, in... Sally did ask me if I wanted Ada or Evenweave or whatever in my kit, and I said Evenweave because I want the person out there that stitches this to stitch it the same that I'm stitching it on. So, yay. So, answer that below. We will announce a winner next week. Um, and so, just like every other giveaway that we do, have to be 18, do not take giveaway. Just answer the question if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, and the last time I will check for answers to the question will be midnight between next Sunday and next Saturday, which is, I'm trying to get a date, so July. Between the 7th and the 8th, that midnight. Is that right? Yep. Between the 7th and the 8th. Good job, Pam. So, um, Adventure Awaits. Yay. And then, um, when, whoever the winner is, whoever you are out there, um, I will get your email address. I will pass it on to Sally and she will send you the parts every month. Very good. And we will ship anywhere in the world. So, yeah. Very good. So, there's that. So, Holy moly. I think that that is everything. That's, so? We got two weeks worth of stuff in an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. That's because uh, we're good. I know. 
You got all your... I got all my notes. I'm good. All right. Plans. Plans. Um, we have a StitchCon debrief meeting on Tuesday. Um, obviously, planning has begun, has started for 2019. So, um, but if you watch Nicole Buckeye Stitcher, she, her StitchCon video, uh, she talked about um, the comments and stuff that people left us. So, we'll be going over that. Uh, and... We already talked about this. Yep, already talked about that. And then we're going to stitch a little we're bit. Gonna, we thought we might stitch. Yeah. Um, the thunder has died down. Right. And uh, I don't think we got much, so we must have been on the edge of the front. Who right. knows what the evening will hold. Hopefully we'll... Uh, Eat, maybe. We'll keep... We're going to have some dinner, Pam. Apparently <laughs> she wants to eat. I'm we're going to go get Mama. some dinner. Get some dinner. And then we're going to stitch. And um, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. So, thanks for hanging in there till the very end. Yep. Um, Don't forget to answer the question for the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Giveaway. Don't forget the coupon code for the project bags. Just keep stitching. Yeah, we're up to an hour and a half, as Steph said. So, um, by the time this goes live, um, it may be um, late tonight, maybe early tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Um, and uh, we're but whenever it goes up, you'll love it, and that's fine. And all the all the links will eventually get put in the description box. It, will be. it may not be there immediately because it just may not. So right. just be patient. You right. always have been with us, and we appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Until next week. Yep. I'm Pam, and I'm Stephanie. And this is just, just keep, keep stitching. Bye.